The golden days of Gopher football, when home games were played on campus, when university pride and enthusiasm were a part of every campus activity, and when rich traditions brought together students and faculty, alumni and Minnesotans from far and wide. It was on those crisp autumn Saturday afternoons that football seemed to sum up all that was good about campus and community life. And soon, those golden moments will be recreated in a new place and at a new time as Gopher football comes home to the new TCF Bank Stadium. TCF Bank Stadium, the first Big Ten stadium built since 1960, will be nothing less than spectacular. Every detail has been meticulously planned, every angle given aesthetic consideration. Designed as an open-air facility, TCF Bank Stadium combines rich history with state-of-the-art amenities. An east-west orientation allows for a dramatic view of the Minneapolis skyline. As we pass through the main seating bowl, you can see the premium seating and press area, which houses the club seats, suites, loge boxes, and the press box. The open west end provides a hospitality plaza, which will be named in recognition of the Shakopee Midwakanton Sioux community and their $10 million stadium gift. Another strong feature on the plaza is the Veterans Tribute, which honors Minnesota veterans past, present, and future. Columns encircle the stadium, forming a colonnade with the stadium wall. The wall is almost an exact replica of the old Memorial Stadium wall, connecting Gopher football past, present, and future. To symbolize that this is Minnesota Stadium, individual plaques representing each of the state's 87 counties are featured in the colonnade. The East Entrance will be named in recognition of the university students and their $13 million stadium contribution they made through student fees. The students' presence is what makes collegiate football unique. This entrance will serve as their center of activity on game day. As fans pass through one of the five primary entrances, they will make their way up to the expansive main concourse, which is open to the field of play. Among the many features, the stadium boasts 12 elevators, four escalators, a 110 by 48 foot scoreboard, and 50,000 seats with expansion room for approximately another 30,000. The TCF Bank Stadium and, it's effort, and our effort to bring the stadium back to campus has really created a lot of excitement at the university and around the state of Minnesota. It's uh, allowed us to raise very significant uh, funding, uh, not only for the stadium, but for some very important academic purposes as well. Uh, money for the Carlson School of Management, um, significant funding for scholarships. The university marching band can proudly call TCF Bank Stadium home. The band will live in the new stadium and practice on its field. It will enjoy 20,000 square feet of premium stadium space, which is accessed through the memorabilia-filled lobby. Just off the lobby is a rehearsal room that will hold all 300-plus marching band members. Also included in the marching band facilities are locker rooms for men and women, instrument storage, a library, offices, and an archives room. I can't imagine the buzz and excitement being any greater than it is right now in the band. When I found out I would be missing the cutoff of when I graduated versus when the new stadium was going to be built, I added on a third major so I would be here that one extra semester to be a part of it its first year here on campus. The home team locker room is state of the art, designed in the shape of a football approximately 60 yards long by 25 yards wide. In addition to the 120 custom built lockers, the home team suite boasts a training room, therapy room, exam room, showers, equipment room, coaches facilities, recruiting room, and media room. To keep the Minnesota spirit ever present, the room features a large block M designed into the floor with a mirror image protruding as a light fixture from the ceiling. The locker room alone could leave all potential recruits wondering where to sign. Football Saturdays at TCF Bank Stadium are going to be unbelievable. That band marching down University Avenue, the football team getting dropped off behind the band, little kids having a game day experience that's absolutely magical. September the 12th, 2009, uh, we're going to open up the finest brand new on-campus football stadium in America. Being able to play that first game in the new stadium 
is going to be an amazing feeling and it's going to be an honor to wear maroon and gold. For a fan and for a player, it's going to be, it's going to be quite, a, uh, quite a time. The premium spaces in the new TCF Bank Stadium are second to none. All who enter this lobby on game day will have access to their seats via escalator or elevator. In addition to the premium seating areas, the lobby will be used as an entrance into the Hall of Fame, the M Club, and the Team Store. The DQ Club Room, which encompasses approximately 20,000 square feet, is located on the third level. The club features a small concierge area, coat check room, restrooms, two bars, and an expanded food and beverage menu. This space will be accessed by all premium seat holders on game day, including indoor and outdoor club, load seats, and suites. Additionally, the DQ Club Room will be available on non-game days for activities such as banquets, receptions, job fairs, and other community activities. Those seated in the outdoor club seats just beyond the DQ Club Room doors will enjoy some of the best views in TCF Bank Stadium. The loge boxes are situated on the fourth level overlooking the DQ Club Room. The stadium will offer approximately 50 loge boxes accommodating four to six people. These boxes offer the benefits of outdoor club seats with the privacy of a mini suite. Each box includes sheltered seating as well as a flat panel TV and in-seat wait staff service so you don't miss a minute of the action. The fifth level showcases our 37 luxury suites. As you enter each suite, you will walk through the spacious hospitality area, which includes a coat closet, fridge, lounge, and bar furniture, a flat panel TV, and plenty of room to mingle. You will then pass through a sliding glass door to reach the covered outdoor seating area that features padded seats, another flat panel TV, radiant heating, and, most importantly, excellent sight lines to the field and scoreboard. The indoor club at the press level occupies a 3,000 square foot space on the sixth level. Limited to just over 250 seats, you can enjoy the privacy and comfort of this climate control club with all the amenities. Tickets at this level are all-inclusive, including food and beverage, as well as parking. The university president and athletics director have suites located in this area as well. Uh, president Brunix has stated publicly that he wants the University of Minnesota to be one of the top three public research institutions in the world. Fortunately, I think for us, not only in intercollegiate athletics, but for the people of this state, he believes that we cannot achieve that without having a vibrant athletics program, without having a culture that serves its student and serves its alumni in, in this community, and TCF Bank Stadium is going to do that. I think we need to thank our Board of Regents, who has established a, a set of principles, uh, guidelines for us to follow as we build this stadium, and we've, we've really adhered to that. And I think importantly, we need to thank all of our donors. From the brick facade to the premium seating options, this is truly a unique blend of tradition with state-of-the-art amenities. The facilities, however, aren't the only thing to be proud of in this project, as environmental sustainability is a priority. The goal of project administrators is to achieve LEED certification, leadership in energy and environmental design, for the building which could make it the first LEED certified collegiate football stadium in the United States. TCF Bank Stadium, blending history and tradition with a state-of-the-art venue. Go for football. Welcome back to campus.